Kia ora tato, kia ora whanau. Um, I'm very privileged to introduce uh, Rachel Essen. Um, Rachel has been a qualified librarian for over 30 years. So in, she has been in special libraries, in uh, academic libraries, and now works at the National Library. And as long as she has been in library, she has been involved um, in part of Lienza, a special interest committees, or organizing conferences such as this, um, chairing the Te Upoko Regional Committee, and um, she has been on Lienza Council ever since, um, in, well, 2016. Um, I, I'm very glad to see that Rachel is also interested in evidence-based uh, practice and in developing people. And, you know, when she's not doing all of those things, she loves to uh, walk her dog when she has the time, visit galleries, and then have a glass of wine. We warmly welcome Rachel. Put our hands together. Yeah. Kia ora. Because one of the conference themes um, is family, I'm starting with a dedication to my father who passed away recently. It also explains why I may cry from time to time. One of the waiata we sang this morning, we also sang at his service recently. He was an entomologist, so pūrerihua, that was um, a bit of a special one. I've also got my um, president-elect and uh, immediate past president to the side here, should I just go to pieces, so bear with me. Kia tangi no mai te kikuhi ponamu, ko manawatu te manawarahi, manawatu te kai whakamaru, kia raro iho au ia ona mata kia nā ringa o oko mātua, nō reira ko Rachel toko ingawa. Nō te papa oia aho, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. Kia ora, falokalava atu, kia ora ana, ko nā Māori, malalo lei, nesabula, talofa, talofa lava, warm Pacific greetings to you all. I'd like to welcome and acknowledge a bit of a list of people, so bear with me. Bill McNaught, National Librarian, who also happens to be my boss. Paula Eskett, Lianza Immediate Past President. Anahira Morehu, Lianza President-Elect. Anahira Sadler, the Taropa Whakaho Tumuaki. And all our Lianza Past Presidents who will be joining the conference. I hope I've got you all. Carolyn Roberts, Lorinda Thomas, Moira Fraser, Vi Peroni, John Garraway. Anyone else that I've missed off, just come and sit. Louise Lahat, anyone else? <laughs> Wave. Um, all my fellow council members, all the Lianza regional and special, special interest community chairs and committee members, and all the chairs and committee members of Lianza standing committees. We're delighted to have guests attending the conference from the Pacific, and in particular, I'd like to acknowledge Mary Vada, who's representing the Fiji Library Association, Odile Uraru from the Cook Islands National Library, and and Kahoa Memule Corbett, who was a driving force in the recent opening of the first public library in Tonga. I'd like to also acknowledge other colleagues from other library associations, Hilary Beaton and Kat Cutris from the um, Public Libraries New Zealand, Eric Wilmer from Archives and Records Association, and Glenna Spishan from the School Library Association sends her apologies and wanted me to specifically mention that Slanza are looking forward to working really cooperatively with Lianza. The initial preparation for this conference was held nearly two years ago at Tamatariki Clendon Library, November 2017. And at this, mem at this meeting, 
members of Lianza's Pacific Information Management Network, the PIM Network, Special Interest Group, shared their vision for this conference. They wanted to make our communities part of the experience, colouring in the white spaces. Ula for a ula, creating something special to give. And they wanted to embed Pacifica values and principles into all the different strands and experiences of the conference. And I'd like to thank and acknowledge the committee and the program committee for all the hard work, and in particular, Judy McFall McCaffrey and Richie Maselli. So far for Thai Lava. <laughs> thank you also, of course, to our sponsors. We wouldn't be here without you. So, when I was thinking about this opportunity to speak to you, I spent a lot of time thinking about what impact could I make in a short amount of time. A time when you're sitting here probably thinking, let's get on to Selena, because she looks really interesting. Um, and I've heard her before, and she's fabulous. Um, and I thought, well, I could tell you about all the great things that libraries around the country are doing. Summer reading programs, coding workshops, etc or what Leanza's been busy with, strategic planning, IFLA organising, or I could discuss the challenges that our sector faces, funding, always a challenge, rapidly changing technology, and I could talk about how we're addressing those. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know most of this already, I'd be preaching to the choir. So, I'm gonna start with a short story about me when I was a newly qualified librarian. I went to library school in 1988. You can do gasps of dis disbelief if you like. Um, as soon as I finished, I moved home to Palmerston North, to Papa Oia, to save money to travel. I worked and lived in London for three years, traveling whenever I'd saved enough money. I had lots of temporary jobs through an agency called Task Force Pro Libra, TFPL. Some of you might remember them. Uh, I worked at a midwifery library cataloging books. I worked at an oil company filing records. I worked at a trade union. And I also worked um, at volunteer service overseas, briefing outgoing volunteers. I loved that. And don't you love this photo? Late um, 80s office in London. Um, this was at the trade union. And actually, what I was employed to do there was install a computerized payroll system. Um, <laughs> But because I'd been to library school and I'd worked with databases, it was fine. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> when my visa was up, I came back to New Zealand. I got a sole charge library job at a research organization in Wellington. I was delighted. It was a real permanent job, qualified. It was a part-time library assistant to help with the shelving and a database to manage the collection. I had DB Textworks in magic, as it became later. 1993, so it was pretty early for databases. I was happily creating catalog entries for new books, and I was using a controlled thesaurus for subject headings. My boss called me into his office. What are these, he said. And he was pointing at a printout of some of the things I'd added recently. I wasn't sure what he was asking. Turns out he was pointing to the subject headings and the entries. Uh, I explained what they were and how they'd help people locate books, and he instructed me to stop using subject headings. He said people can find what they want by just looking for keywords in the title. Wow. That was hard to get my head around, and totally against everything I'd learnt in library school. And remember, this was pre-digitisation, no full text searching. I just added a book to the collection called What Colour Is Your Parachute? about job hunting. And I thought, how the hell will anyone find that? Unfortunately, uh, so what did I do? Who was I going to call? My library association. I contacted the office and I was put in touch with a librarian who talked to me about cataloguing standards and some best practice. And so um, I was able to have a really well-informed discussion with my boss about why I thought he was wrong. Unfortunately, he didn't agree. <laughs> and I did resign from that job. But the point of the story is that having a professional association to refer to and get guidance from was hugely important to me. And it's continued to be important and helped me keep learning. 
And so when I was thinking about what I wanted to say this morning, I realised that I have one message that I would like to convey to you. One message that aligns strongly with the community's conference theme. One message that underpins why we are here. One message that I hope you'll remember and take back to your workplace. And it is simply this. We are Lianza. What does that mean? It means we're our professional association. All of us make up the strength of the association. Today, we are 570 conference attendees, 430 delegates, over 100 sponsors and exhibitors, 161 of us are first-time attendees, and a special welcome to you all. <laughs> 32 volunteers, 11 students. There are 90 professionally registered Lianza members here. There are staff from Lianza institutional members. There are personal members from Lianza and Taropa Whakahau. We've got 51 delegates from Australia, and we've got delegates from other countries, including US, Canada, Hong Kong, UK, Singapore, Togo, India, Fiji, and the Cook Islands. We've got 106 people presenting seven keynotes, seven workshops, 40 papers, 12 lightning talks, and three panels. Who are we? We are Lianza. I can't hear you. Who are we? We are Lianza. Once more, who are we? We are Lianza. We are made up of groups. We're made up of a council, regional committees, special interest groups, standing committees, working groups. We are Lianza. What is an association? Well, first, you need people. Without people, there can be no association. Second, you need common interests. An association is not just a collection of people. You have to have common goals. And third, you need cooperation. People working together um, to achieve a common purpose. An association gives members opportunities to work together to achieve our common goals. And it sounds simple when you set it out like that, and yet it's somehow quite magical. And I think we take it a little bit for granted. We have a professional association that has been around for nearly 110 years. That is amazing. And we, the members, have worked together to achieve amazing things. And there are so many more things that we can and will achieve. We've set out our goals in the Lianza strategy. And there are around five areas. Enable, connect, support, advocate, and engage. Enable is about getting our house in order. Uh, we need strong, sustainable foundations to deliver common goals. We've done some good work in this area, setting up the Lianza communities and the Contestable Fund, and there's more to do. We need to stimulate membership growth. Members, you, are at the heart of what we do and why we exist, and we need to keep growing our membership. Connect is about working with others and recognising that other organisations share, that share our goals are also Lianza. We're building on good relationships across the GLAM sector. Our partnership with the National Library is a great example of this. And as Minister Martin said earlier, many of the goals of the National Library are strongly aligned with Lianza's goals, particularly the work in the Pacific and the work to bring Willock, the World Library and Information Congress, to Aotearoa New Zealand in 2022. Another key strand in this area is working to engage new library and information professionals. Support focuses on our professional development activities. We're working to offer diverse and relevant range of opportunities, and we're partnering with other institutions and organisations to do this. We want to encourage more of you to be professionally registered. Do make sure you check out the session on Wednesday. It's called Connecting to Our Communities, The Power of Professional Registration. Check it out. Advocacy is something else that we do. One of the strengths of an association working together means that we can add your voices, the voice of the members, to important issues such as pay equity and copyright reform. 
We want to be more visible in this space, and we've been working together um, towards aligned submissions with people like Public Libraries New Zealand. That way we believe we can amplify the voice of librarians and information professionals. And another important goal is to make visible the role that libraries can and do have in achieving the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Initiatives under ENGAGE further our aims to ensure that Aotearoa New Zealand sector is an active participant in the global network. Hosting the World Library and Information Congress in 2022 is our flagship project in this area. All of these goals and initiatives require people to achieve them. Not just any people, but you. Lianza members, Te Raupa members, Public Libraries NZ members, School Library Association members, Archives and Records Association members, we all need to work together to benefit our communities. My wish is that you leave this conference with a new, renewed understanding of the importance of a professional association. When you have your version of your boss telling you you can't add subject headings to your catalogue records, remember your professional association and hopefully you won't have to resign. Renew your sense of purpose over the next few days as you connect, reconnect, and engage with your colleagues. Colour in the white spaces. Ula for a ula. Create something special. Renew your commitment to Lianza and how we can strengthen each other to be involved and responsive to future information needs. Go well this week. This is your conference. And one last time, let me hear you say it. Who are we? We are Lianza. Thank you very much. Fafatai Lava. Te rotora i te nei ke te te ke te aro nui e ko te ke te ruru ku a te rangi e ranga hoa. Kinawana <laughs> Konga uru uru matua, ke no tora i te ne ke te te ke te ara nui e. Ke no tora i te ne ke te te ke te ara nui e. Nga minui atu kia koe, Rachel. Before I present you with this ula, as you say, fa ula ile ula, so ole fau ile fau, our strands that connect the ula, are we are weaving that today. Um, thank you very much, Fafitai Tele, for your for your talano this morning, and I remember myself. Um, about 10 years ago, Pim put in a submission, an application to Lianza to become a special interest group, 10 years ago. And we're standing here convening this conference. And so who are we? We are Lianza. We are part of the family, the communities of the professions.